Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, working on that uh, Canadian Pacific that arrived today, and just wanted to do a quick video on a quick touch-up that I did. Do you remember in the uh, video the uh, roof for the uh, locomotive was just covered in rust? So what I did was sprayed it with alcohol. That breaks down the paint. Then took a straight-edge razor blade, single-edge razor blade, and then just literally scraped the rust away and uh, dried it and then touched the paint up with a light coat of spray paint, as you see. And it's still far from perfect, but at least that uh, big rust spot is gone. And as you see, it blends in really well with the rest of the locomotive. So there's really not much I can do here. And uh, if I aggressively try to attack this, it's going to take the paint off right along with it. So I can lightly scrape it, but it's going to show. So there's really not much you can do with this. And uh, uh, go over it lightly with some alcohol. And alcohol really seems to help breaking this stuff down. And you can lightly scrape it. But like I said, once you scrape it silver, it doesn't match the rest of the uh, surrounding metal. So like I said, there's not really much you can do with it other than stripping it down and repainting it. And uh, it's still bent. I haven't uh, repaired that yet. But I did touch up the roof uh, just to uh, get rid of that big, nasty, ugly rust spot. And just doing that improved the look of this 100%. And uh, the engine is actually running really well. And as you see, that oil is slowly bringing these wheels back. And uh, I scraped the push rods with a single-edge razor blade. And I'll take an emery board and just give them a couple of quick wipes. And that'll take all the little scratch marks off and give it a nice matte finish. But uh, all in all, with a bit of touch-up on the surrounding paint, you can actually improve the looks of these things quite dramatically. On this side, there's really not much you can do to it. Because uh, if you try to get into this stuff and uh, try to get this rust out of here, you're going to wipe out the paint. And once you've... Uh, taking the paint off, you might as well just go ahead and repaint it. Or just take the paint off and uh, sand it silver. But as far as refurbishing it to make it look new, the only way to do that is to uh, take the finials off, take the stacks off, strip it down, actually strip the paint off, and then repaint it. And then uh, put new decals on it. The stuff I buy just isn't worth the uh, effort and uh, expense to do that. And you can do it if uh, you want to do it as a hobby. But uh, I have a lot more fun just repairing the motors and getting these things uh, acceptable looking and running them rather than spending all my time working on them. But as you can see, that made a dramatic improvement in the roof of the uh, locomotive. Like I said, this was just one huge rust spot. And there's nothing you can do to hide it. So the best thing to do is scrape it away. And you can still see there's lots of... Uh, uh, little divots and uh, grooves left over by the rust. And so what you do is uh, basically strip the paint off and take a file and actually file this way. It would take you forever with sandpaper. But in any case, just do a quick touch-up. You can just scrape the rust away. Then I just masked this off with a paper towel and then lightly misted it with uh, black spray paint and then uh, painted it with oil. And it made a dramatic improvement in how this looks. And you can do a lot of spot painting these things. You can pull the handrail off, pull the stacks off, pull the markers off, and actually spray from here up. And uh, you can make this look actually quite acceptable. But as far as this, there's really not much you can do about it other than completely strip it, sand it smooth, and paint over it. But it did make a huge difference in... Uh, the roof of the, uh, the locomotive itself, as you see. Far from perfect, but uh, this old locomotive is actually running just absolutely splendidly. So we're still pulling uh, tin litho with it, as you see. And it just runs splendidly. It runs like a new locomotive, it really does. So pulling 23 tin litho cars now. And as you see, it's just running perfectly. It was definitely worth the 10 bucks. No doubt about that. So once you have it, then it just depends on how much energy you want to put into it 
to make it look nice. You can repaint these and make them look virtually new. As you see, the nickel is still pretty good. There's no real major damage to it, some blemishes in it, but nothing major. And uh, now that I've touched up that huge rust spot on the roof, this actually doesn't look too bad. It's at least acceptable looking. And the nice thing about it, of course, is the fact that it runs really well. So as I said, I judge a Mark's locomotive on how it runs, not how it looks. But this looks more than acceptable for now. And it was inexpensive. I got some really decent cars with it. In fact, I oiled that cattle car. And uh, the doors are free and working, as you see. So this is a really decent car. It's in really decent condition. And uh, this car by itself would sell for 10 bucks on eBay. So I got that car. I've got uh, one more uh, tanker and uh, that uh, 556 caboose. There's nothing I can do with it, really. So I took it apart, added a coupler to it, and turned it into a flat car. Good enough for now. So all of it is being used. That's the neat thing about it. And it was inexpensive. It was fun to uh, uh, get it running. And here it is, far from perfect, but 100% better than it was. And the nice thing about it, of course, it was really inexpensive, and it's running really well. So it's a hard combination to beat. Anyway, as you see, this is running just absolutely splendidly. It's running like a new locomotive. The E-Unit works perfectly. And I didn't have to do anything but lubricate it clean the brushes in the armature and uh, get some of the oxide off the wheels just general tune-up TLC stuff this thing had been sitting for decades and it was just absolutely terrible condition like I said very likely sitting in a damp basement probably as long as I have been alive it had been sitting there for a long long time but just a few minutes work and you get these things up and running and the, the nice thing about this is that you get these things pennies on the dollar of anything else. You know, this and three 10 litho cars was 10 bucks. And the 10 litho cars are worth more than that. The motor itself is worth more than that. And you get all of it for 10 bucks and uh, about $10 to ship it. So still $20 for a running locomotive and three cars, all of which are being used. So a uh, few minutes work. Like I said, I just literally scraped the uh, rust off down to the bare steel, cleaned it with alcohol, and then literally just masked this off with a paper towel and lightly misted uh, where I had scraped the paint off, let it dry, and then a uh, drop of motor oil and a soft paintbrush. And as you see, it blends in rather well and really made a difference because that huge rust spot is gone. And so I'll address the rest of it when I get around to it. Uh, right now, I'm concentrating on getting it running well, which it is. So now I have a, a lot of fun just sitting back watching it run, knowing this thing sat in a box for 50, 60 years, something like that. And in a matter of an hour, it's up and running. It looks acceptable. It's an original Marx uh, locomotive that came with three tin litho cars, and all of them are being used. So you can't beat that. It's a lot of fun. It's really inexpensive. Pennies on the dollar of anything else. So I just want to do a quick follow-up video on this. It works. It's a lot of fun. It's really inexpensive. So just a quick video of the uh, Mark's Canadian Pacific. Ten bucks on eBay. I was the only bidder. And as you see, it was definitely worth what I paid for it. So just a quick follow-up. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.